Hi, I would like to demo Quiz and Poll. So Quiz and Poll has two features, quizzes and polls. Quizzes are meant to be used after class, while polls are meant to be used in class during your lecture. So this is the documentation site when every, everything is written on this, uh, this address. And if you go to how to create a poll section, there is this uh, spreadsheet template which you can create copy and modify for yourself. So I've already done it here. Uh, I have changed the name to Google Trivia. I have uh, shared the spreadsheet with this account. It's really important, otherwise it will not work. And I have added some questions. So questions are here. Every question can have optional image. Question can be anonymous. If it's anonymous, you don't collect the usernames of students. And here are the answers. When the answer is correct, it ends with a star. So that's it. That's what you need to create the poll. And now you are in class and you want to start the poll with the students. So you do this. And now the students can scan this QR code with their phones or you can email them. So I have two phones here for demonstration. So I will email those phones. Okay, that's sent. And let's now see how it looks like in the phones. So this is the students who received the link via email. So this student will open the link uh, in the Android app and this student will open it in a browser. It works in an iPhone browser or even on a laptop, so it can really work for anybody. And now uh, both of the students are waiting for the instructor because the instructor needs to launch the question. So let's be the instructor now and start the question. So first question, here's the image, here is a timer, so you can say to your students that they have for example one minute and after that you can stop it and they will, they will not be able to answer anymore. So let's answer. So this mm. one will answer incorrectly. And this one correctly. Let's go back. We can see that uh, two students answered and we'll stop it. And here is nice graph. So it shows one student answered A, one student answered B. And here you can see that B Germany is correct. And this screen, this should be projected to the student, so stu students should, should see this, so they know what's, what's correct at the end. And let's go to the next question. So next question, switch to the phones. So, correct, and this is correct. Okay, let's be the instructor again. Two students answered, everything is working. Let's stop it. So, one student answered A, one student answered D. Yeah, now you can go back to your lecture, show slides, and whenever you're ready for next question, you can switch it, you can even change the order. So let's do this uh, about Gmail. So let's answer it. Uh, this is correct, I believe. It's incorrect. Okay. Students answered. So this will be last question in this demo. You see it works. And 
at the end of the lecture you can show results so students can compare to each other or you can keep it for yourself so the results is graph based on the username of the of the students and it's ordered in a way that the most successful are on the left and the least successful on the right so you see that uh, this uh, student answered correctly two questions and correctly one the other way so this is it polling what do you think about it